Hi, everyone. Well, <laughs> oh my God. Wow. All right. 5-23-2019, May 23. I really hope my subscribers in Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota, uh, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, and all over the country. I hope that you are safe, that your homes have not been flooded out, or your roofs have not been taken off by a tornado. So much is happening, and look, I'm overwhelmed trying to piece together a, a video that will show you the scale of weather events that are taking place. It's impossible. It's just impossible. This is Oklahoma. links are below so you can watch the complete videos. Same area, more houses. Literally just breaking off, ending up in a river or a lake. What is going on is so just devastating, but overwhelming. It is overwhelming. My God. And you know what? Most Americans just go around living life like it's just, you know, nothing unusual is happening. Stating flooding has swept away homes in parts of Oklahoma. Flood alerts are up across half the state this morning. Maria Villarreal is in Weber's Falls, Oklahoma, where the whole town was forced to evacuate. Maria, good morning. Good morning. Last night, people in Weber's Falls were told to get out immediately when two barges broke free and started floating down the Arkansas River with no one on board. They were headed straight for the dam that you see right below me. Now, the fear is that these barges could breach the dam, holding the flooded river back from a town of about 600 people. Officials lost sight of them briefly overnight, but found them stuck on a rock several miles from the dam. They are working right now to secure them and warn that if they get loose again, a breach would cause catastrophic flash flooding. The Arkansas River is already approaching a historic high. And take a look at this. Speaking of historic, this World War II submarine was sitting on dry land four days ago. 200 miles west of where we're standing, rising floodwaters left some homes clinging to the edge of the Cimarron River in Oklahoma, while other homes were washed away completely. In Missouri, torrential rain could top levees along the Missouri River, threatening to submerge homes, highways, and farmland. Now, in the rest of the region, 145 flood gauges have actually shown that they are at a critical state. This is a big problem for the river and people downstream. But right now, everyone in this region is hoping the next few days the rain will subside, giving them a chance to finally recover. Gail? Sure hope Mother Nature is listening. They need a break there. Mother Nature. Oh, gal. Gal, what a reporter you are informing your fellow Americans. You sure do live a nice life making a whole lot of money. Whole lot of money to lie to people. What a way to live your life. What a way to live one's life. Lying putting people in danger, not telling them the truth about what is taking place. Geoengineering, weather modification. Let's not talk about what our military is doing. Horses being rescued. This is live. Storms media, so I can't play any of this. This was posted two days ago. And when you, when you get to 
this part, you see all of these horses shivering. They're shivering. And Jess, the director here at Turning Point, tells me when she got here early Tuesday morning, the water was up to the horse's belly, nearly covering that bus parking sign. It was at least a good five feet before it started receding. This is a picture of the therapy horses at Turning Point Ranch Therapeutic Riding Center, stuck in flooded pastures Tuesday. The great thing about our horses is none of them were panicked, none of them were distressed. You can hear the fans blowing. Rachel Royston says she knew the 22-acre property was on a flooded plain, but says Stillwater Creek has never dumped this much water. The nine horses here corralled and moved to other properties as the staff assesses the damage. That was one of the first things we lost was about $500 worth of hay. Royston bracing for another downpour. Mm. Is there damage? It's Is that... hard to tell until all the water goes yeah. away. And says it could take weeks or months before the horses return here to drier land and still weeks or months and did you see how high that water was what is going on that is making the water so high well like streets flooding all over our country now i do believe that that has a lot to do with the drains the sewers uh being closed and the drainage clogged and we have heard uh, just now it's all over we hear people saying well we've spoken to city officials but they don't do anything to resolve the problems that's what we are great for never resolving a friggin problem in this country and it is getting really hard to take but something else is going on, and I've posted videos a couple of weeks ago um, showing how it could be aquifers, those rivers underground, that they may very well be releasing waters to come up from the ground. It is not just rain coming down. You know, this is the devastation. Tornadoes and floods wrought in the central United States, Missouri, Jefferson City, and Golden City. And I believe it's called Golden City. Uh, yeah, three people died. Nobody died in Jefferson City, but many people injured. Oklahoma. This house went into the river. More farms devastated. Look at this. Look at this water. So, yes, I believe that something else is happening here. Yeah, it's so devastating to see this day, day after day after day. You can see over here, uh, my bedroom window and everything is completely blown through, bricks everywhere. It, it's bad, guys. Yeah, that's video from right after a tornado struck. It was late at night in Jefferson City, Missouri last night, around 1140 or so. Uh, it appears to have been a pretty violent tornado. Now officials are going door to door and they're looking for survivors in the rubble. Uh, it was so bad that the governor of Missouri, Mike Parson, he came in to visit with first responders this morning. Uh, you know, when you have chaos, you know, it's a matter of time. how do you organize chaos? And that's kind of what we're doing right now is trying to, to get people safe, make sure everybody's okay. Now, right now in Jefferson City, several state roads are blocked with debris, and there was at least one report of debris flying for at least 30 miles. Yeah, that can happen sometimes. They found some debris from Jefferson City about 30 miles east of town after the tornado. Now, when you look at this map, you're going to see a lot of red dots. Those are all where reports of tornadoes were. I think in this case, what it probably will end up being after they do the damage survey is all the same tornado, just different people reporting it. And, you know, we still have thousands of people without power. Crews are working to restore it right now. Several people with injuries were taken to the hospital. Nobody was killed in this tornado, but in Golden City, Missouri, that's about 150 miles southwest of Jefferson City, three people were killed after a possible tornado hit their home. Oh, 
boy. Well, Kansas. More areas flooded. More areas flooded. From Travis. Thank you, Travis. And this is MDD. It's really important for people to post videos on what is happening in their areas. Because mainstream media is failing big time in their reporting. Oklahoma, or no, I'm sorry, Arkansas. Arkansas River flood. Oh, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Okay, I'm sorry. Drone dude. And look at this. Uh, yeah, streets are just caving in. Caving in. And here is the Arkansas River. Flooding expected. And authorities in Oklahoma and Arkansas are advising those who live along the Arkansas River to prep for voluntary evacuations. The National Weather Service says as much as five inches of rain has been falling since Monday. The Keystone Dam, Keystone Dam rather, is releasing more than 164,000 cubic feet of water per second today to manage all that water. The Arkansas River is projected to rise to 38 feet by tomorrow. I am concerned about uh, the potential for flooding in Arkansas. Uh, if you uh, look at the uh, news reports and the weather reports, more of the immediate flooding will be coming in uh, Missouri uh, and in Oklahoma. But uh, I've had enough experience to know that when it starts there, it, it, uh, it winds up here. Certainly something to be alarmed to keep our eye on at this mm -hmm. point, especially since we made it through. I mean, we had some bad storms. So you guys in Arkansas, it, look, prepare for flooding uh, with all of these rivers now um, at flood levels, and we're going to see, we're going to see, this is just going to continue, and I'm afraid it's going to continue for months, months, but here we have a tree that has fallen on a woman in Arkansas. And this is the rescue. Look at this tree. Look how it is covered with fungal disease. Can't play it. It's live storms media. You know, it's like, it, it just doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. Look at this. And of course, the tree, you know, it does not appear to have very many roots. Huge trees are just toppling over. But hey, how about getting caught up in the never-ending political drama staged for you in Washington, D.C.? I listen to these people, Schumer, Pelosi, the bullshit that goes on. And we've got now, just in the last couple of months, I have no doubt, over a million Americans who have lost their homes, lost their businesses, lost their farms, sitting in floods, and this is the crap that you listen to, Pelosi, Schumer, and Trump. Oh, I am not going to even start on the infrastructure plan until you stop these investigations. Impeachment, they're still talking about. Trump finally came out and said something about the Missouri tor tornado. While this massive flooding has been going on all over, 
central United States, from Minnesota down to Texas, and we hear nothing. And he finally comes out stating that we are monitoring. We are monitoring Jefferson City, Missouri. Are you kidding me? Something has gone deeply wrong in this country. And I'm disgusted every single day. Yeah, you go to Trudge, and what do you see? Yeah, oh, wow, I actually saw, let's see, I actually saw something about the tornado. Oh, good for you, Drudge, the morning after the tornado. Here, finally, something. Monster tornado strikes Missouri. Catastrophic damage. People trapped in homes. Do you know that when this tornado struck, it was on the anniversary of the Joplin tornado that killed, what, 158 people? Yeah, Pelosi, villainous Trump, wants us to impeach. It's so sick, this country. It is so unbelievably sick. Young people blame climate change for their small savings. Yeah, I am. I'm thoroughly disgusted. We have so many people suffering. So many. And where is our focus? These immature, disgusting, psychopathic, narcissistic liars who have made a fortune on their public service to Americans because they love Americans. What are they doing to help all of these people? with their fortunes. Now here's a drone video. Uh, 29 minutes of the damage in Missouri. And they say catastrophic damage, catastrophic damage to the Capitol building. This is it. I don't see catastrophic damage. And what I see appears to be, I don't know what this is, like a tarp? How, how, did they, how, did they, how do they describe this as catastrophic damage? I am really just, uh, I, don't, I don't get the reporting anymore. So a whole lot of people have had roofs torn off, bricks removed from the side of buildings. Yeah, a lot of people suffering. Displaced, living in shelters, homes destroyed, businesses destroyed, livelihood destroyed. And where's the rally for all of these people? What, what are we doing for all of these people? Nothing. I do find it interesting. There were some uh, areas that it, you know, I don't, I don't get how the tornado leapt over all the trees. Which I will get to. But now looking at this tornado damage this year, it, it just, it, I don't know, it looks different from previous um, tornado damage. And you now in looking at it, I was wondering, did the tornado, was it just a bit off the ground, taking off roofs in an awful lot of areas.
maybe I'm I'm not perceiving this accurately, but you let me know. It does seem like bizarre damage for a tornado because you would think that there would be like a path and torn uh, and the trees surrounding I, I, I don't know I don't know just seems strange but there's a lot of people who were just add them to the list. Add them to the list of struggling, suffering Americans. Not sure what that what that was. Is that like part of a roof or something lying on there? I don't know. It looks strange. Now a lot of people I, I've been hearing morning reports. First responders going around to every home, checking to see if everybody's okay. Came in late at night, and um, I don't know. Well, late at night, a lot of home damage, and not one death. And we might hear later on this afternoon that people actually did die. I hope we don't. I, you know, look at this. The trees are fine, still, you know, standing, but the roofs and it just seems, I don't know. You go through this video and you can see that there are areas where just the homes were damaged, but the trees surrounding, you know, the neighborhood. Yeah, it, it reminded me of the fires. I'm like, all right. Um, so this tornado didn't seem to affect these homes, but came in. And the trees are okay and just got the homes. All right, well. Yeah, it felt like an earthquake. That's the title of this article, but do you see how right angled this tornado is? How level defined it is? Because it was hit with a frequency. Yeah, it was supposed to be huge. Huge. When it hit, it felt like an earthquake. Wonder if they had the extremely low frequencies going. Now, this is real time right now. And you can see, we've got frequencies up here in Pennsylvania, the New York Pennsylvania border, down here along the New Jersey coast. And no, that's actually a little bit further south, starting in New Jersey. Um, all right. Now, yesterday, they were reporting that these storms were going to be heading into Mississippi, Alabama. And they never did. Um, the reporting is so bizarre now because they'll say one thing and it never happens. They don't retract what they said. They just go on. These storms, a lot of them have been generated 
right here in northwest Texas. And these storms are still going on in Missouri, according to what we see. But even from this distance, I can see massive microwaves hitting that storm. Right smack in the middle. Right here. And blow it up as far as I can. Right in this section. Here you can see all of the extremely low frequencies. Can you see them? Are you getting a good eye for them? Can you see the extremely low frequency right here? This um, defined line. You can see the high frequency heating, the harp next red brings signatures of man's hand creating these storms. Here, one, two, three, four, five, five, high frequency heating, Missouri. And there goes my pulse in the actual site. You can see the, the rings appear up here in Kansas. So they're not stopping this. They're just full speed ahead. Bring on this damage. Bring it on. Going right through the storms. Okay. So they said, still tornado uh, warnings and flood warnings in effect today. Well, it looks like the storm is dying out, but if they want to regenerate it, they will. In fact, I think they're trying to. Here's your high frequency hitting. Oh. No, I thought they had turned it down a bit. Apparently not. I want to show you. This was May 22nd, 348 AM. Do you see what appears to be like a bomb cyclone happening? Spinning around, it's coming up northeast. You got a nice defined precipitation line right here at being hit with frequencies. You got the frequencies. Yep, and they're just going off South Carolina and Alabama looking like a faint light show. But this spinning around, okay? That is not a natural happening. That's due to all of these frequencies coming out of the harp, I mean the Doppler radar stations, and the extremely low frequencies, um, which you can see right here. Look, Mother Nature does not work in fine defined lines. Bottom line. So we had obvious something happening at um, 3.48 a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time, so Central Time, uh, 2.48 a.m. on the 22nd. And I want to show you that, well, we didn't appear to have any storms. Let's see, this is um, uh, 
the 22nd. This was last night. Like at about 8 o'clock at night, so 7 o'clock at night. Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma time. And did you see anything? So we have these massive floods and tornadoes. And this was at approximately 7.30, 8 o'clock. Where are the storms? Where are the storms? And you know what? Th these uh, laser shots in Nevada have been going off for, well, a couple of days uh, running. And we have, what, what we are witnessing is a very bizarre jet stream that seems to be just circling in areas of the country. But where is this storm that did all of that damage? Well, it doesn't appear. And they're just little pockets, which th th this red is the high frequency heating, getting, getting the storm generated. And the last one I took was at about 10 o'clock last night 10 o'clock last night wow okay so now we're we have what is what are they calling it the the rain train or the rain train train of rain well this is what they were cooking up to bring about the damage that now so many people are suffering from Look at this. I'm in, I'm seeing things on these sites like I've never seen before. Oh, precipitation just <clears throat> erupts and goes away in Nevada. We have circling precipitation as if it's going to work itself into a hurricane. None of this is what we have seen before. None of it. All in circle.